This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when loading a custom brush, Sculptress Pro mode disables. How can I fix this? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere object here loaded in. And the question is asking about loading a custom brush, and when you load that custom brush, Sculptress Pro mode becomes disabled. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere here loaded in. And you can see, currently I have the standard brush selected. I do have the Sculptress Pro mode active. So if I come across my model and click and drag here, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to sculpt into the surface of that model. And if I turn on my polyframes, you'll see with the Sculptress Pro mode active, as I perform that stroke on the surface of the model, the model was tessellated. So ZBrush is going to automatically look at the surface and it's going to divide the mesh up as you sculpt to give you enough geometry to support that information. Now the question is asking about loading a custom brush in. And when you load that custom brush, the Sculptress Mode button up here will become disabled. So as an example of this, I'm now just going to load in a custom brush. So I'm going to go to the brush palette up here and just open this up. And then I'm going to click this load brush icon here. And in here, I just have a custom brush, so a standard lazy brush that I've created. And I'm just going to select that and click open. And now, coming back to ZBrush, you can see I have that brush selected, but you'll notice that the Sculptress Pro option here has been disabled, so it's totally grayed out. So if I perform a sculptural mark on my model with this brush, you can see it's going to draw that mark out, but I'm not going to have the benefit of that Sculptress Pro mode. So you can see the stroke is being drawn out in this faceted mode, and that's just because I do not have enough topology on the surface of that model to support that stroke. So when I loaded this brush in, why did the Sculptress Pro mode button become disabled? So I can come up here and try to turn it off and on. Let's say I go back to that standard brush. Oh, still working there. But if I go to that custom brush, it's currently not going to allow me to use this brush with Sculptress Pro. So the reason for this is that you probably have a brush auto masking modifier turned on. So I've got the brush palette up here and open this up and then go to the auto masking area. In here, you have a bunch of auto masking features you can apply to your brush. Now, a lot of these features in here will not work with Sculptress Pro. So if any of them are active, Sculptress Pro will be disabled. So the most likely culprit of the function that is disabling Sculptress Pro for your custom brush is the back face masking option. So Sculptress Pro will not work with back face masking. So if I come into the brush palette over here for my custom brush and now simply disable back face masking, you'll see at the top here, the Sculptress Pro mode button has now been re-enabled. And now I can come across the surface of my model and sculpt. And this is gonna allow me to use that brush with the Sculptress Pro mode. So once again, if you load a custom brush and the Sculptress Pro option becomes disabled, make sure you don't have any brush auto masking turned on. So go to your brush palette, go to the auto masking area, and mask by polygroups will disable Sculptress Pro along with backface masking, color mask, and also topological. So these auto masking functions will not be able to be used with Sculptress Pro, so just make sure they're turned off and then your Sculptress Pro functionality will return back to normal. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!